Hello everybody, my name is Provis and welcome back to more Surviving Mars Green Planet. It's not green yet, but hopefully it will be someday soon. Uh, we took a bit of a beating in the last video, just a little bit of a beating from the meteors. God apparently decided to smite Mars while we were on it. I'm not sure what we did to upset him so much, but... Oh well, that was fun. We survived though, barely. And the problem is I have a lot of people who are kind of low on their sanity at the moment, because they're a little... They're a little upset, and understandably so, when your life support suddenly cuts out for uh, without warning. So the goal is to now get things kind of back on track. We need to get our power, our water, our oxygen situated. Make sure we don't have any more leaks or anything like that happen. And then ultimately what we want to do is try to start working toward a little bit more self-sufficiency. I really wouldn't mind trying to get some extra food production so we don't have to import it. But also I would really love to get some sort of a um, industrial dome going at some point soon. Maybe not this video, but soon-ish. And I like using the barrel domes for those. They're pretty darn large and you can fit a load of factories. Heck, if we actually were to place this like up over here or something, or blocking something, I'm not sure what. I think it's just the little drones in the way. Uh, but if we can get up here with a barrel dome, we actually might be able to hook these things up together. Huh, that'd be kind of fun. Anyway, they make for very good industrial centers. We can start producing our own polymers, machine parts, etc., etc. But we still don't have our metal and our concrete and our food and everything else figured out. So let's deal with the basics first, and then we'll try to expand a bit more. Oh, we have a crazy colonist who's destroying all of our robots and stuff because he's become a Luddite. I can't take it anymore! Machines! Machines! Only bloody senseless solely machines! I will destroy them all! Floyd Simpson. Uh, okay. Um, well... Do we save the colonist or do we save the hub? Um, I can afford to lose the hub, so we're gonna save this guy even if he is gone crazy. The building has been destroyed. Which one? Way down here? Okay, so that's that's irritating. Um, we're gonna have to rebuild this, unfortunately. Which we should be able to do if we use some of our metals and electronics. I also might need to bring our command drone over here in order to make that work, because unfortunately all of this is now outside of range. So let's go ahead and pick up our drones and get a move on. You know, I'm really realizing I kind of enjoy the aesthetic of this game. I don't know, just like the desolate Mars landscape, but seeing the domes and human activity in the background, the little drones running all over the place. I don't know, I find this very satisfying. It kind of inspires the pioneer within me. I mean, don't get me wrong, there's no way in heck I'd ever go into space, but I mean, it looks cool, right? I think so. We can actually make it look a little cooler, I think, if we go to these things and change up some skins. There we go, look at that dome! That's a cool looking dome. Are there more skins? Ooh, there are, look at that. Okay, between all of these, I think I like this one a little bit better. And what about this dome over here? Aren't there supposed to be like a Stellaris pack or whatever where you had different Stellaris looking domes? Eh, this one looks the best out of the bunch still. Okay, we're gonna go with this one. We could go ahead and start building some fungal farms now. If we try placing those outside here, for example, you can kind of see what these would look like. They do require power, and I think they also need both uh, air and water, which makes sense, given that it is a glorified mushroom greenhouse. Um, place these outside of the dome, and we can have some botanists go out and work, and this would be a pretty good way of making some extra food. Um... Is this something I want to do right now? I am actually researching the farm technology, so pretty soon we will be able to do something with those. It wouldn't be a bad idea to go ahead and get some of these. Um, if I'm going to do this, so where am I going to place it? Probably over here, where it's close to all of our cables and our pipes, and also to the doors so that our workers can get out here. This does take some metals and electronics and stuff. We have just enough electronics to make this work for now. Though we have to be careful of our uh, maintenance costs, but yeah, let's go ahead and start producing more consistent food. Given that we are apparently not producing any, that's not true. I see that you are indeed producing some, you're producing like 12 every 4 souls. Yeah, that's not enough to feed this population. Okay, work on the fungal farm, I think this is priority alpha. I do think it may be time to go ahead and bring in yet some more colonists, so let's go ahead and do that with some more resupplies, passengers. Um, slim pickings down over here at the moment. Not a lot of applicants currently available. Still, we do get some scientists, we do get some botanists, some medics and stuff. Really a lot of botanists is what I would like to get. If at all possible. Don't see the option there. Uh, if we're playing as the, uh, Sun- Blue Sun Corporation, shouldn't we be able to buy some more applications? I thought that we could, but I don't remember- there it is! Buy applicants! Yes! We will buy them! Uh, f oh wow, half a billion dollars. All right, worth it though. We're gonna get a whole load of new uh, colonist options. Okay, now our filters should look a little bit better. Hang on. 
Okay, that's looking a whole lot better. So many more scientists and some botanists and other things. I can work with that. Let's go ahead and launch. Oh, there's not enough space for the people. Don't worry. I'll build homes or something. It's fine. Shush. Get off my back. Now, something we do need to get at some point is a security station. Whenever you get a high enough population in a dome, and I don't remember what the magic number is, it's like 20 or 30 or something like that. Uh, I think it's every... oof, is it every fourth colonist will end up being a renegade or something along those lines. And renegades, ah, they just... They just cause problems across the board, so a security station in order to try and prevent some crime could probably be beneficial. But if I do that... Am I limiting my options? I think it's probably still fine. We can place down a security office over here. I'm going to have a, an officer who would love to have this job, absolutely. We may want to place down yet another research lab in this area. And then what else could I possibly want for some services? Well, mm, I don't want to consume electronics. That's just a terrible use of electronics. Art polymers? No, thank you. Grocers, diners, space bars. I mean, it mostly just resources requires, are... you know freaking concrete for maintenance. That's not a big deal. I guess we could place one of these down. This might actually indulge a little bit of an alcohol habit, but I think it's worth it. Just go ahead and get a little bit more uh, happiness in that area. And then I don't want to get things like a casino. What I would like is a really good park to try and uh, increase sanity or something along those lines. A beautiful, relaxing park. That would be great. Hey, our new colonists have already arrived. Let's go ahead and land the rocket. Probably should build another landing pad out here somewhere. Um, I actually probably don't need to be placing down all these parks and stuff. Uh, I may actually end up deleting these later, but at least for now it's gonna look pretty nice, right? Having a little pond and stuff. Wouldn't you like to live in this dome? I, I, I could possibly maybe convince myself to live in this dome. Okay, we just finished with the soil adaptation, which means I could now conceivably build some farms. What's this? Utility crops. New crops in the farms and hydroponic farms produce, uh, provide oxygen and improve soil quality. Ooh. Uh, that could be pretty helpful, but there's a lot of other stuff that I still want. Let's see. Rover Command, 3D Machining, Automated Storage. Yeah, that's not bad. Fuel Compression, so we have more cargo space. There's a lot of different things that we could really make use of. Martian Education would let me uh, build a university and start converting non-specialized humans into specialized ones depending on what I need. Which is nice, but I prefer to have a dedicated educational biome. That way, once somebody is educated, I can properly kick them out and move them somewhere else. What I really love to see is some uh, shuttle technology, and that might be under the physics route, which uh, up to this point I have more or less neglected. So I'm going to go ahead and start working down that route, but um, yeah, shuttles would let me start transferring people between domes as needed, so I'll be able to reshuffle them later if I so desire, and that could be pretty huge. Hey, the ramp is finally done. Wow, that's a, that's a big honking ramp you built over there. Nice. Okay, let's go ahead and bring all of our drones back over here, and we'll repurpose them towards something else. Explorer, guess what? I've opened up a brave new world for you. Now here's a fun little research I just picked up. Autonomous sensors, so sensor towers no longer require power or maintenance. Which basically means I can place down a whole load of those if I want to, pretty much wherever I can afford the electronics. And we can start uh, exploring uh, very, very, very quickly on this planet, and that sounds pretty nice. Hey, an anomaly. Oh, uh, let's see. Something, something, Phobos 2. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Several more anomalies have been discovered. Yay! Ooh, fun. Apparently we found a sulfur-rich regolith. Whatever the heck that is. We can either get some temporary science or we can make all engineering tech a little bit cheaper. Which I think in the long run is better. So we're going to go ahead and try that one out. Now I do think that I want to start working toward that industrial dome that I was talking about. Um, now the big downside of that is I think we are going to need a fair bit more fuel and water and such. It's one of the reasons I placed down this moisture vaporator right over here. Which is easy enough for me to maintain. It does uh, only take up some metal and such. That's not a big deal. Um, so I think we want to get some more fuel refining. Because one of the first factories I'll probably want to build is a polymer factory. And that requires a fair chunk of energy as well as some water and some fuel. Now I've already got a little bit more water thanks to the vaporator. But I'll also need some more fuel, uh, fuel production in order to make that worthwhile. But that will result in a pretty good amount of polymers coming in. Which means I probably won't have to worry about that for a while. So I kind of like the idea. So let's go ahead and place down a fuel refinery right over there. Kind of close to the rocket so it's easy to load up if we so desire. And then, yeah, let's see, how expensive is a big 
honking barrel dome. It's a little expensive, and I don't have an absolute ton of polymers to work with, but I got a rocket on the way with some more. We could afford to do this. Um, now, when you say that you're blocking objects, what exactly do you mean, pray tell? Stand by. We're going to move all you guys out of here for a second. Let's just get you all out of the way. I want to make sure that no one else is getting in my way. Hang on. What objects? Oh, hello. There's a drone over here. Where'd you come from? Salvage this drone. That's what's going to get destroyed. All right, let's get rid of the broken drone. Didn't even realize we had broken drones that were taking up space. Ah, oh, gosh dang it. There's metal over here. Hang on. Um, you, go gather the metal and bring it somewhere else. Hey, a rocket. Let's go ahead and land that sucker right over there. Sector scanned. Okay, more sector scanned. We got some low G turbines done, which means we now are able to upgrade our wind turbines if I want to. And we can get adapted probes so they're cheaper and can deep scan. That is what I was waiting on for my probes and why I've held on to six of them up to this point. So good, we'll finally be able to do something with the darn guys. Okay, now I'm able to build a proper barrel dome. This is what we're looking for. And if I place this carefully, Right around here, maybe? Do you think we'd be able to join these up? I don't remember the length limits for some of these passages. We might be able to. We can certainly try. Um, I do want to keep it close-ish to where am I going to be having my supplies, my rockets and stuff. So yeah, let's, let's try going for this. We're going to place down the barrel dome. Do a barrel dome. Another breakthrough, Eternal Fusion. Oh, that sounds amazing. <laughs> I want that. Fusion reactor upgrades. They no longer require workers. That's awesome. And operate at 150 performance. Nice. I don't have any fusion reactors yet. But when I do, this is going to be an amazing upgrade. It probably requires like a lot of maintenance or something, right? Our understanding of the once holy grail of energetics, fusion energy, has reached the level where once a fusion reaction has been triggered, it can be left to regulate and sustain itself on its own within a confined and safe medium, of course. Beautiful. Ah, oh, we're getting all sorts of wonderful scientific breakthroughs. I'm excited. Uh, the dome is, in fact, going up. Okay, so that's going to be a whole load more humans I'm going to need to keep track of somehow. At some point, we may actually want to get a proper farming dome, something dedicated just to lots and lots of botany so we can have plenty of food. But again, food is one of the cheapest things that we can buy from Earth and bring back here, so it probably ought to be a low priority. I just like the idea of self-sufficiency. Let's see. Uh, well, I think this is going to be the better of the domes. Just got to say, that looks the best by a long shot. Okay, so in this dome... We should be able to start working on some nice little production. Uh, I am specifically thinking that a polymer factory makes a lot of sense. Um, let's see, if I place... What do you mean this is outside? It's an outside building? Really? Wait a minute, I thought this was an inside building. Oh! I'm apparently just outright wrong, huh? Okay, let's see, factories... We haven't got a lot of these things unlocked yet, so I can't do anything with that. I actually thought this was an indoor building. Okay, so apparently I didn't need to build the barrel dome at all. Uh, well, that's fun. Okay, fine, no problem. Um, huh. Don't I feel like an idiot? Well, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. We can just go ahead and turn this off for now. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and get myself a polymer factory then. Uh, where do I want to place one of those? Let's see, if it's going to take up water and fuel, um, I want it to be relatively close to my fuel production, so let's try placing it over here. Though hopefully, well, if I place it too close, we're just creating an issue with maintenance. So I actually don't want to be too close to the uh, rocket landing pad. Maybe we go ahead and place something kind of like, ah, oh, it has to still be within range of a dome, though, for workers. Okay, um, well, maybe I can justify placing it. It's still going to be mostly for engineers. I still want it to be generally in this vicinity. We can afford to place it over here, and I think that that will end up being just fine. It's within range, so all engineers will be able to come out here and work on this. Once I do get some population, we may want to give it a small storage for some fuel nearby just to make it a little easier. I think one of the lessons that I learned from the meteor storm is that I actually do prefer, generally speaking, to have some like water towers and stuff nearby. Just in case something were to leak, at least we have a storage facility that's still getting some life support in here and buys me a little bit of extra time. That seems to be pretty smart. Okay, some more anomalies done. Uh, cool, we're learning about a lot of different things, including how to make microgravity machines for medical centers. Okay, also um, behavioral shaping sanatorium. Ooh, 
That could be helpful. Also, also, the Sterling Generator, if we want to build a bunch of these. These are not half bad, actually, because what you can do with the Sterling Generators is they produce 10 power, uh, only require polymers for some maintenance, and if you open them up, they produce even more power, but then they become vulnerable to du dust. If you leave them closed, you get a little less power, but they're pretty much never going to require that maintenance. So they're pretty nice in that sense. Uh, very self-efficient uh, and such. I like those a lot. Let's go ahead and place down this rocket. Get, grab some more materials. And yeah, we are now reaching a point where we will need to get ourselves some factories. Um, one thing we probably could have done is brought a prefab of some of the factories like electronics. So I wouldn't have to research the technology myself. And that might have actually been a smart thing to do, but obviously I did not do it. Um, let's go to our passenger rocket. And this time we're going to filter things out. Let's go ahead and clear this out and say... Ah, I should have left the perks and flaws and stuff. But let's say we mostly want to bring along some engineers this time. Maybe um, we will also like to bring along like some botanists and some medics and stuff. I don't think we need any officers quite yet. But engineers absolutely are the top priority so we can work all of the factories. A eulogy for an everyday hero. Oh no. Maya Clark is dead. I guess this is probably someone I'm supposed to care about. Died of old age. Well, at least it was a natural death. So I can't be too upset about that. Each time a colonist dies from a non-natural death, two applicants leave the pool. Good to know. Not relevant in this particular case. Thank you, fellow colonists. How exactly do we bury them on Mars? Do we dig, like, actual graves, or do we send them back to Earth? Or something? I don't know. It's a good question. Okay, here comes the next rocket with our folks, and also we just made all residences in our domes a little bit more comfortable, which is quite nice. Farms increase the comfort of all residences. Now oh, that's interesting. I wonder if that works with the Hanging Garden Spire. Which I don't have unlocked yet, but I'm hoping to at some point. Um, hmm. Let's see. Learning how to make sterling generators and stuff could be kind of fun. Micro-manufacturing, though. I do want to start working towards some new factories. That we can build on our own without having to rely on some prefab. So let's do that. And are you guys going to automatically go to the domes that I want you to? Or are you guys going to all split off in the wrong domes? It seems like you're all going over here for some reason. That's probably fine. Okay, let's see. So you guys are all heading over here. And I assume you guys are automatically going to assign yourselves to the polymer factory. And they did. Hello, look at all the engineers. It's beautiful. Okay, so this takes a bit of fuel and some water and stuff. But we'll start making some polymers, so at least now we're somewhat more self-sufficient than we were before. Uh, what's wrong with my power? What just happened? I completely ran out of power? Really? Ooh, that's... That's scary and upsetting. Okay, we need a lot more power. And we finished with the electronics factory. Let's also grab some 3D machining so we can make machine parts out of metals, because obviously those are going to be quite useful to me. Okay, so these, I assume, do go inside of the domes, and yes, they do. They're actually a lot smaller than I remembered. Well, ain't that nice. I don't want to place them down here, because we want to save that for some spires, but if I wanted to place an electronics factory, we could. Remind me, what do you need? Takes rare metals. Ah, yes. Taking our rare metals and turning those into electronics instead of selling it. Um... We can do this to some extent. For now, I'm okay with it. But I did identify a really nice lucrative spot for another uh, major dome off in this direction. Actually, a pair of domes so we can get loads more rare earth metals and send them up here. So for now, I think that's okay. At least it does sort of deal with one of my needs. But uh, it's not perfect. It's not perfect. We're going to need a lot more engineers in order to make this thing work, though. And yeah, um, we could actually get a larger electronics factory, I suppose, but we don't need one right now. Ah, oh, that's why I was thinking this was a bit bigger. Yeah, we don't need anything bigger than this right now. I don't have the rare metals to justify that, and also I don't have the engineers quite yet. But eventually that will be good. We could also place down some corporate offices and just start getting a lot of cash that way. But why have the electronics maintenance? What does that do for me? Cold machines? Oh no, colonists were injured. The severity varies. But the accidents involved drones, okay. Uh, because of the time frame, it was rather small. We must assume that there was corruption in all involved drones. Our engineers say it was hacked. Well, that's not good. Ring the bell on this one. Inform the UN. All rivals lose funding and standing with you. No one was killed. Um, screw my rivals. If they're corrupting me, then I want them to pay for it. Yep, there go a whole bunch of my drones. Gosh dang it. Well, that just seemed somewhat uncalled for, but okay. 
Okay, it's fine. The good news is we do, in fact, have some uh, some factories getting built. We are making use of our engineers, producing polymers, and producing some of our electronics. So that's excellent. Once we get our machine parts factory up, technically we will be producing everything in the game. From there on, it's a matter of continuing to expand to becoming even more self-sufficient and then grabbing all the rare earth metals to make tons and tons and tons of money and then terraform the planet. All right, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If so, then I would ask you to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. <laughs>